Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Biology and as I told you, here I am with another video on the protein structure that's all about the turns and super secondary structure of the protein. Okay, now let's uh, see some basic uh, about the turns first and then we will moving towards the super secondary structure. Okay, so now what is the turn? Now uh, we all know that proteins or we can say is when proteins polypeptide chains form the secondary structure they form the structure like the alpha helix beta plated sheets and uh, after that during the formation of tertiary structure or during the formation of the super secondary structure they need some uh, simplest structures that can easily uh, combine that uh, complex uh, helical and plated sheet so uh, here the comes the role of the turn so the turns are basically a uh, very simplest structure that uh, are present in the globular shape protein that requires the reversal in the direction of their polypeptide chains so many of these reversals are accomplished by a common structure or we can say structural elements that are called the turns. So simply that turns are U-shaped. So if I am drawing here that U-shaped uh, structures are known as turns. So uh, that uh, based on the residue or we can say the amino acids that uh, forms this type of the structure with the help of the hydrogen bond formation, they are divided into the three class that is an alpha, beta and gamma terms. Okay, so that are uh, simply made up of three to five residue U-shaped structure and divided into the alpha, beta and gamma structure or we can say classification okay so here uh, the base on the residues or we can say amino acids that uh, um, form the turns uh, based on that that alpha helix contain n plus 4 residue means that uh, if that turns made the or we can say is the chain of the peptide made the alpha turns then in that case that turn is formed between the first amino acids to the fourth number amino acid or in case of beta that is an first with third amino acid residue in case of gamma turns that is an first with second number or we can say second amino acid residue so uh, that's the basic difference about the alpha beta and gamma turns and uh, here that major uh, questions asked in the exams that is which type of amino acids forms turns in uh, regular uh, protein structure formation so the answer of that is glycine and proline as we know that glycine have an simplest side chain so due to that they form the easily uh, turn structures while the proline that prolines uh, due to the presence of built-in band nature of the proline that allows the polypeptide backbone uh, to fold the turns and or we can say longer turns like like they majorly form the alpha tons because that is a longer ever tons of all that types of the tons right so that's all about the tons and there is an another structure that is in loops so loops are slightly longer than the tons and majorly they shown in the super secondary structures and that they participates in the interaction between the proteins and the other molecules during the formation of their structure uh, how they all form the super secondary structure of any of the protein now to understand that first of all we need the basic prior knowledge about the specific geometric arrangement now what is this a specific geometric arrangement is a simplest arrangement of any secondary structure 
so if i am taking here an example of alpha with alpha that is an alpha structure of any protein or we can say any protein polypeptide chain that form or we can say that link by a loop or we can say any um, turns with and another alpha structure so that type of the uh, geometric arrangement is called a specific geometric arrangement in which they uh, simply combines the two or three or more type of the secondary structures of proteins and coiled or we can say uh, combine into the super secondary structures that is called the motif okay so that's all about the super secondary structures and here is some example of that super secondary structure is alpha alpha the as i am told you here that alpha or we can say two alpha structure alpha helical structure are linked with loop and that called the alpha alpha super secondary structure then beta beta again that two beta plated sheet either anti parallel or parallel beta sheet structure a link with then loop and then another that is an beta alpha beta in that case that parallel beta plated sheet as i am told you that parallel beta plated sheet are combined with an helical structure with an loop or we can say with and turns so they form the motif structure that called the super secondary structure of the protein and then this type of the super secondary structure are combined together and form the tertiary structure so uh, that all detailed video of the tertiary structures uh, are uh, coming next so stay tuned and watch our series of the protein structures and if you like the video please share it with your friends with your colleagues subscribe to our channels and join our family